Did you do it? There we are. We are live. Let's go tweet it. tweet it. Promote it. All right, guys. Uh, today, we have a special edition of uh, Ryan yeah. Stegman Draws Stuff. Um, we're here uh, working. We, I just did a piece, if you haven't seen it, for My Hero Academia World Heroes Mission featuring uh, Deku and uh, the big bad from the film, um, cool. Fleck Turn. So, uh, you know, we're going to get to work here drawing this uh, Deku that is, you know, reminiscent of the cover that we did. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to yeah, get started. Everybody. Welcome to the stream. Very special stream. My Hero Academia themed stream. Just uh, in case you didn't see it over on KLC Press, here's the uh, artwork that was released as the Ryan Stegman My Hero Academia crossover. Um, really, really cool piece that is being... Uh, given away in a competition, which we will get into. Ryan is going to be working on a piece for this stream as well. Um, let's see. we got people coming in through the various channels. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Ryan Michaels here. Hallowfield is here. Joseph, Art Jedi, Abigail. They're pouring in. We can't pouring. hold the doors closed. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, yeah, so I dropped in the chat at the start, but I'm going to be dropping it in periodically. If you are a viewer in the UK or Ireland, you can enter to win Ryan's My Hero Academia art. Um, and we have a link for that. Uh, and like I said, I'm just going to, every once in a while, so nobody misses it, I'm going to drop back into the chat and drop that link for you. So there's that link again. Big Boy Eve says he's hyped for this. The movie was amazing. Uh, that's exciting to hear i uh completely agree i saw it in the theater a couple days ago awesome um with my kids and my nieces and nephews and uh it was what'd you think really great pretty really, good i loved the tone <laughs> that's awesome to hear i'm glad i i have not seen it yet i just recently caught up on everything my hero and i'm obviously very excited for this it was cool at new york comic-con there was so much promotion for like there were giant billboards for this mm -hmm. um so yeah i'm very very excited hope everybody else is too worth noting joseph dropped in and said is griff on another date griff's not feeling well he had to bow out unfortunately uh but maybe that was just cover for a date um, I hope so. Uh, hi, everybody. How Hallowfield says I'm Irish. Does that count? Depends on where you live. Um, but yeah, draw, I, I got that link in there for you guys again. Also, you should all go see My Hero Academia World Heroes Mission, which we also have a link for that I'm going to be dropping in peri uh, periodically. You can go to this link here at the Funimation website and get your tickets to my my Hero Academia World Heroes mission. Um, Ryan Michael says, "Oh no, hope it's not kidney stones. Feel better, Griff." I don't think it is kidney stones, and I'm sure he appreciates the well wishes. Um, this is also um, a family friendly stream, so everybody, if you got kids, you got to, uh, uh, family members that love My Hero Academia, bring them on. Let's hang out. Everybody jump into the comments and add as many questions as you like, and we'll be answering questions as we go. Isn't that right, Ryan? That's exactly right, Ethan. <laughs> um, Ryan, when was, what was your, um, was your, were your kids your first exposure to My Hero? No, it was actually, um, I think my friend Ryan Lee, who's been on our podcast and been mm -hmm. on our live streams, was just telling me that he watched some of it and he thought it was a really cool concept. Right. And I'm always up for anime or, you know, manga. Like I, I love that stuff. It's just sometimes I'm not exposed enough to it. Right. And so after he mentioned it, I went and watched the first few episodes and I was hooked and then I kind of hooked my kids on it, but then they kind of took the ball and ran with it. And they're <laughs> huge fans. I mean, I love it too, but you know, they're, they're the type that know when the new seasons are dropping and they're always telling me about it. And yeah, you know, they know everybody's names and they're super into it. It's, it's pretty fun. It's funny to have been a comic fan my whole life and have not gotten into anime stuff because like the crossover appeal is, 
is has always been there obviously mm -hmm. um but only until like the last few years my fiance got me to watch naruto and i started watching a whole bunch more anime and now i think it's most of what i watch <laughs> right. uh, and my hero uh is definitely one of my favorites um we got a whole bunch of questions coming in um uh, Merrick's Blanca Floor. So, hey. Mr. Segman, what are your thoughts on the author of My Hero Academia's art style? Well, he's a great artist. I mean, there's no no two ways about it. It's kind of, I'm always amazed at, uh, you know, manga artists' ability to um, be so consistent with their characters. That was the word I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it always, it, it'll look like stills from the show or whatever. Yeah. They're so, yeah, they are so consistent. Uh, and he obviously, it's interesting. He has clearly has some American comic influences, which is funny because normally it's us that's influenced by, you know, Japanese comic artists. Right. Um, but he did. Uh, he I think that All Might is like sort of his homage to American comics. If you notice, like All Might always has the um, a lot of spot blacks, which means just like dark shadows and hatching on him which is very, and right. you know, he's always got right. the, the big white teeth yeah. gritted, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's his sort of a uh, homage to what we do. Um, and so it's kind of fun because at the same time, I want to do stuff like what he does. So, right. Totally. When that's I, definitely... when I did the first piece for my hero academia, I was told that by the company that hired me, which is, you know, I did a cover for a French publisher and, uh, they were, um, saying that the artist himself was actually asked for me which you know oh wow i didn't hear from him so i don't know that's for, for sure but that's pretty cool if it's true yeah, if that's true that's awesome um have you seen the pieces that he has done uh of marvel characters and pokemon and stuff no i haven't really cool really worth checking out um it's really fun to see that style applied to yeah, some, I'd love to see uh, that. yeah very 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 cool um, we got a comment from uh, Scoot Starnes that says, hey, folks, congrats, Ryan, on the partnership. Thank you. It is very exciting. Um, Danny asked, are Substack folks jumping on the stream, seeing if I need to get home? Not this time, just a little low-key hanging out, drawing a Deku. Um, we're not having a bunch of folks jump on, but probably next time. Yeah, mostly because we're, we're trying to keep this one PG <laughs> or G. <rated> G. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like my hands are tied behind my back um let's see our jedi says q a time is my favorite time well then drop some cues let's go yeah let's hear what your experience is with my hero academia yeah i would love to know what everybody um what everybody's experiences are with the show and if, if anybody's seen the movie yet i've kind of stated this before but one of my goals in life we're we're doing a creator owned called Vanish. Yeah. That you can see at klcpress.com. That's true. Um and one of my goals is is I would love to see it made into an anime. Um Yeah, I love that. You've so, said that a few times now and I that, that is really like if I if I were picturing Vanish as like a live action adaptation or an anime, anime sounds more fun to me. <laughs> yeah, it'd be so cool. Absolutely. Um, it's it, it, that I think about that stuff all the time. Like I am huge into this stuff. Um, and it's just, uh, just some of my favorite things. Absolutely. I'm also dropping the link in here for anybody that might be new here, might just be a My Hero Academia fan. We do have uh, creator owned stuff that we do over at klcpress.com. That link is now in the chat as well. That's where Ryan's working on his creator own book, Vanish. It's also really cool. Make sure you check that out. Um, Our Jedi says, My Hero Academia was the first anime I ever watched. Absolutely love it. Um, well, you need to check out the uh, the movie, My Hero, or My Hero Academia World Heroes Mission, which That's is right. in theaters now or in England, as they say, cinemas. <laughs> yeah, definitely go check out the movie. You can use that link that I posted up there to grab some tickets and also... If you haven't seen the other five seasons of My Hero Academia, you can go check out all that stuff on Funimation. Uh, they got all that stuff housed in one place. It's awesome. It's very convenient. Um, Ryan Michael says, what would you two want your quirks to be? That's a good question. Because I, I kind of love 
um, characters with really like um, banal quirks, like 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 the people that just have office jobs, but their quirk is like I can float the stapler to me and stuff. Yeah, or the what's the guy with the grapes on his head name? Like I always forget his name. Uh, Minato. Yeah. <laughs> is that what you want? <laughs> no, but I will say last night my son Harrison and I, my seven year old, we were sitting at the kitchen table drawing, and he said he wanted to us to each. We had to hide our drawing and we had to draw a character with a quirk mm -hmm. that um, we created of our own. Mm -hmm. And uh, I loved his. His was, it was a guy who had a pumpkin head. His head was mm -hmm. a pumpkin. But he would, he would pluck, it, it was like a, his head was a bomb, mm -hmm. a pumpkin bomb. And he would pluck his own head off. And you throw it as a bomb and then immediately grow a new head. That's I, that's really good. I like yeah. that a lot. <laughs> I mean, that, I was like, that is kind of like some, you know, a lot of them are weird like that. The quirks. Yeah. Yeah. That's like if Jack-O-Lantern from Marvel was a, was a My Hero character. Yeah. Um, I, I love that. Do you have one that you would want for yourself? Um, I guess for myself, um, I would definitely want to be one of the ones that fly. I mean, mm -hmm. that's always tops on my list of powers that i would want mm -hmm. i guess maybe some sort of teleportation or ability to get from one place to another super fast so you could kind of like see the world mm -hmm. um so if it's if it ultimately i guess if i'm saying i want to fly at like the speed of light yeah that'd be good yeah how about you I think I'm going to go with the just floating things to me that are pretty close to me, just like in case, <laughs> in, in case anything is ever slightly out of reach. Like right now, you, you want your coffee, but it's out it's too far out of reach. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have to lift my arm. It just comes right over to me. Um, put, put your favorite quirks in the chat, guys. Everybody pick one. Chat. Yeah, everybody think of one for yourself and drop it in there for sure. Um, Joseph Noel said, Tomara's backstory and stuff was nuts. Yeah, we're not gonna get too heavy in the in the spoiler chat about anything, uh, but yeah, that was that was insane. Do you see that, Ryan? Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. Um, yeah, really, really good stuff. Daniel uh, Partouche wants to know why is Ryan so good at drawing everything. This is Daniel's here. This means I've now linked the uh, chat to Facebook, and so that's why Daniel's here. Hi, Daniel. Okay. Is it I'm Partouche? So yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, I'm drawing. I'm so good at drawing everything because I practice, mm -hmm. and by practice I mean work constantly. How's that sound? Is that a good answer? That's a good answer. You forgot the boundless talent part, but yeah, I discount that. <laughs> uh, Casey Marcello wants to know your favorite character from My Hero Academia. Oh, I just did an interview, and I mean, I know it's lame, but it's Deku. I mean, he's yeah. the best. Deku's like, the best. He's he's sort of an analog. He's he reminds me of Spider Man, Peter Parker. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. it's just kind of the thing where he just gets knocked down over and over again, totally. and he gets up every single time, and always does what's right. And that's what's appealing to me about Peter Parker, who is my favorite American comic book character. Right. And uh, so yeah, I mean. I know it's lame. I can't help it. It's not he's... lame. Deku is the best. If I, I, I think maybe if not for Deku, my favorite might be Lamillion. I love Lamillion so much. Yeah. Um. I, I love how <clears throat> in my hero, like, because a lot of times American comics and stuff, it feels like, um, you know, like they often get so like gritty and stuff. And I, lo I love how in my hero, like, there's such a value on like really earnest heroism. Mm -hmm. And Lamillion's really got that superhero thing and that Superman thing about him. Yeah. Um, where it's 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 just like a boundless optimism and uh, and just like wanting to make people feel safe and everything. It's, it's delightful. I love that character. Yeah, it's, it's so well done. The whole the whole thing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Our Jedi says, when laying out the figure, do you draw from the wrist or the shoulder, I think, Ryan? I've heard that drawing from the entire arm captures the gesture better. Um, that's probably true. I don't think about that anymore because I try, I'm try. i too focused on keeping the image that I want to draw in my head. I, I think I used to really focus on that type of stuff. Um, but, you know, I think it would be beneficial to, to draw from the... Um, 
shoulder. I think, and this is going to get way in the weeds now. He's he's <laughs> he's on my corner asking me questions <laughs> I like to talk about. Um, the key to me is to just not draw, not um, press hard. You want to have like a loose grip on your pencil when you're doing right. your gesture. And that kind of forces you to get your whole shoulder into it and all that. So that's kind of a, it's kind of a weird thing, but you know, the people that draw will understand, I guess. Yeah. Ask more technical drawing questions. I love it. <laughs> I will love it, but I don't know that everybody else will. I wasn't being sarcastic. I enjoy it. Um, Absolute Venom wants to know, Ryan, is there another anime or character that you'd love to draw slash collab on? <sighs> That's, uh, I mean, so I said um, one of my favorite animes of all time is um, Evangelion. But yeah, I don't know okay. that I would be good at drawing those, the Avas. Right. Um, so I also love Full Metal Alchemist. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean, any of these I would take a crack at for sure. Akira. How are you as far as drawn like Iron Man and stuff like that? Like, like, like if you, if you were, if somebody was like, if somebody commissioned like a Transformers piece from you, would you be like sweating? Well, yeah. Transformers especially, but Iron Man I, used to be my stock answer for what character do I dislike drawing the most? Right. But it's actually not true. I found as I, cause I drew a bunch in um, King and Black and, all that and he was actually very fun to draw so it just really depends yeah i got you um I, this is a good uh comment from hallowfield says i haven't seen any anime since ninja scroll but all my nieces and nephews are huge my hero academia fans i needed to get around to watching it you do and you know what's a good place to watch it at because it's all there funimation definitely go check it out and uh I, uh, whoops, what did you, there we go. Joseph Noel says, what did you guys think of this past season, guys? It was a little slow for like the first 18 episodes, but man, the latter half of the season was some of its best stuff in my opinion. Um, I, I loved it all the way through and yeah, the, the later half definitely like popped off. It was crazy. Um, I'm not caught up, unfortunately. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah, did my, the, kids, my kids went ahead without me cause I've been busy trying to run a KLC press and do all these fun things with Does the movie drawing. take place before season five? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> we need we need Oliver in here to answer these questions. Somebody let us know if the movie takes place before. I'm sure it, it surely it does. That would make sense to me. Uh, Ryan Michael wants to know how did Ryan keep this a secret during our last stream when my hero came up? Oh man, because I, I wasn't allowed to say anything. <laughs> Contracts, man. Uh. My, uh, I really, the, the movie is really wonderful and it feels for anybody here that's, you know, an American comics fan, it basically, the, the tone of it and everything feels very much like a big co summer comic book event. Right. That's awesome. I, um, have, I'm going to drop the links in here one more time. I want to let everybody know again, because a bunch more people have popped in. If you are in the UK or Ireland, you're able to enter to win uh, Ryan's My Hero Academia piece that we have seen up on the KLC Press website and on Funimation. Um, there's that link once again, if you want to enter to win. There are a ton of folks entered to win. I don't know if you've checked it out, Ryan. we got stiff competition this time. Yeah, I saw there was, what, 600 something or Last night, yeah, there were there were already over six hundred, and it's been growing. Um, so that's really exciting. Get get in there uh, for your chance to win if you're in the UK or Ireland, and if not, uh, either way, definitely get your tickets to My Hero World, uh, My Hero Academia World Heroes Mission at this other link that I just sent. Go check out the movie, um, and then look at Ryan's piece online if you can't win it, <laughs> or um, look at the piece I'm doing right now. That one's pretty good too. Um, let's see. Joseph Noel said, Grape Rush. Minuta is his favorite character. Um, let's see. Uh, Waxter said, Todoroki Quirk is my go-to. Which one, though? Yeah, uh, he's got it. Multiple. He's got it, yeah. Um, Lex says, Miss Y'all. 
Miss you too. Um, the you know, I realized something. I, my my son and I sat down. So a cool thing that they did at the end of the movie here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. was they gave us this little booklet of um, My Hero Academia art and stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. And uh, we took that home, and my son was super amped to draw draw pictures from it. Mm -hmm. So we sat down and we did that, and I was going to show one, and I just realized it might be a spoiler, so I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody imagine how cool it would have been if Ryan it's really good. For, uh, yeah. My seven year old's really getting into drawing, and that's exciting. That's job. awesome to hear. Yeah. Um, Art Jedi says creating anything for my imagination is always my go to answer. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, I love I love Momo's uh, quirk. And I love the I love the idea that it's so specific about having to know, like how to make it. Um, BS asks, how did you develop your art before you started working in comics? Uh, so that's straight up just I just love to draw, um, and I did it all the time. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I I have this conversation with people all the time, but. Drawing is still my favorite thing in the world to do. Um, it never gets old. It's like my thing that I do to relax, um, but it's also my job. Mm -hmm. So if you love it, then you just keep doing it and you just find your influences and, you know, it's kind of just, um, you know, just you keep doing it and you find the artists that you love and you try, you know, when you're younger, you try to draw like them and then eventually it just becomes your own thing. Absolutely. I'm listen, I'm not what many people would call successful yet. However, a piece of advice that has stuck with me is uh, if you're going to try to do like a creative career, it's got to be something that you would be willing to do for free for the rest of your life. <laughs> uh, like it's got to be something that you would still want to do, even if it weren't your job. Yeah, yes, exactly. Uh, I did this for free for right. most of my life. Well, right. I guess not anymore now. Well, I'm, I'm approaching having been a professional longer than I haven't been. I guess in like five years, that'll be the case. You're so but, uh, old. I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I did. I mean, it took me till I was 27 or so to even have to pay taxes. Cause, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was just focused on this thing and doing whatever I could to make it happen. Joseph's got another good question. I got another good My Hero related question. Who's your favorite villain character? Well, does Bakugo count or no? Um, no, he's he's a hero, man. <clears throat> well, I guess for now, I'm just going to say, because it's fresh in my mind, I'm just going to say Flecturn was really good. Okay, interesting. I do love Bakugo so much. Um, I have you watched um, Ted Lasso? Yeah, not all. You know, of it. you know the really grumpy dude. Yeah, I told my fiance he's got real Bakugo energy. I'm loving these characters that are that are so grumpy but have a heart of gold. Um, when you, when you said that, was she like was she like who is Bakugo? No, she loves My Hero Academia. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, uh, like I said, she got me into anime. She's a huge Naruto fan and everything. So we've oh, just cool. been tearing. Yeah, we've just been tearing through all these shows together. Um, uh, this is move the car. Sal says, "Who are you guys' top three anime characters?" I feel weird because I feel like I've still seen a fairly limited range of anime compared to a lot of other people. Do you have an answer to that, Ryan? Um, I don't. That's hard. I'd have to think about that. I feel like I'm going to say something that comes off as, and then I'll be like, oh, <laughs> I meant to say. So Shinji obviously is great. Mm -hmm. um, I love uh, um, Kanada from Akira. Mm. Um, I love Deku. Um, Man, yeah, for, so I mean, Deku, from, I, I was uh, talking, talking about how much I love Lemillion. I love Naruto. I love, I really love um, Zenitsu from Demon Slayer. I find that character. Have you watched Demon Slayer yet? 
No, my kids watch that one without me. They're, they're just plowing ahead without me at this point. <laughs> it's a great show. Zenitsu is a really wonderful character. Um, quirk idea, Ryan Michael says, a comic book artist whose drawings become real. That no, uh, is similar to a character in Naruto. What's that character's name? Is it Sai? I haven't watched I think... Naruto. Naruto. I'm looking it up. Sai? Yeah, Sai. Sai draws stuff and it turns into like real constructs, almost like Green Lantern or something. Um, that is a cool quirk. Um, Waxter wants to know if you could get one Western comic to get an anime, what would it be and why? Ooh. Good question. That's a very good question. Oh, man. Well, one thing popped into my head, but it kind of has, it's not an anime, but it's you know invincible has one now mm -hmm. an animated mm -hmm. series it feels like the closest thing we we have to like a western comic getting like a really direct anime adaptation in the way yeah. that they do um with manga um man invincible is really good <laughs> you know what would be cool is uh is vanish vanish what is that ryan <laughs> my creator own comic where can they find that klcpress.com klcpress.com good thing we got that url it's nice and snappy um here's another technical draw uh, artist question for you ryan joseph mm. noel wants to know what's the most expensive piece of drawing equipment you ever bought like most expensive drawing pen etc and was it worth it well it's the guy it's the cintiq okay uh and yes it's worth it but it is expensive very expensive but totally worth it i mean you could get, I would say, about 85% of what you can do on a Cintiq on an iPad Pro. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that little, that extra 15% you pay for, and it's pretty great. It's more expensive than an iPad Pro? Oh, yeah. Okay, interesting. Um, <laughs> Carter Presents wants to know, so what would you rather, a quirk or a giant robot that somehow is an angel that somehow is a part of you that is somehow... OMG, Evangelion is confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I'd rather have a quirk that I can fly at speed of light, all right? <laughs> That's all you ask for. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Um, Joseph Noel says it's always tough to figure out when the movies take place, uh, but speculates that it might be after season five. Interesting. Maybe, just to be safe, make sure you're caught up on My Hero Academia that you can stream on Funimation and then go check out the movie, which you can buy tickets at at the link that I dropped into the chat. Shouldn't they do those things, Ryan? Mm-hmm. <laughs> buy um, your tickets now. Yeah, get in. Get in there. Trey Harris says, hi, Ryan. Hi, Ethan. Hi, chat. Hi. Hey, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> Hello Field wants to know, do I need to see the show to understand the movie? I mean, having not seen the movie, and I'd love to get your answer, Ryan, but I, I think both of the previous movies are pretty accessible if you haven't seen the show. I agree. I, like yeah. I said, the you know, American comic book event, think think that. Um, yeah. So they kind of set it up for you, and then they give you the full story um, of, yeah. in that movie, but you know, you're gonna, you'll end up wanting to go back and watch the whole thing. Yeah, on it's a Funimation. really good comparison. Yeah, on Funimation, it's a good comparison. The summer event thing, because they'll 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 drop little pieces of backstory and everything to the point that you yeah you just want to know what everybody's deal is and what what all has happened so far. Um, but yeah, it's totally accessible. I felt like. Yeah. Okay. Great. That's awesome. Um, Waxter says you should send that piece to the manga creator. That's not a bad idea. I mean, I would love if he wanted it. It's all his absolutely somebody get drop his contact in info yeah drop in jump in the chat if you have <laughs> if you have his contact info yeah um our jedi says how hard was it to quit drawing while you were in college i feel like that'd be pretty depressing um i didn't quit per se like i i uh was always when i was in class i always doodled it like if i have my old college notebook some of them and they're just instead of paying attention in class i was drawing you know <laughs> so i was still drawing i just wasn't doing pages for a couple of years but i i did uh i guess i still was doing pages like during the summer and stuff 
I don't know. I never feel like I really quit fully, but I just didn't focus on it. Um, Athentis says, "Aw, it looks awesome with a big, excited, smiley face. Thank Pund you. Punda says, let's go. And Let Francis, Guevara, <laughs> Francis Guevara says, Ryan, loved your work on Superior Spider-Man. Thank you so much. Glad you're here. Ryan, you do good work. We're going to take a break from the chat because we're going to pull up some of these stills we got from the movie. Yeah, that's a good idea. I want everybody to see how good this movie looks. Check out these stills. We got official stills. We've never done anything like this on a street. <laughs> Look at these official high resolution stills from My Hero Academia. I love these new suits that they have in the movie. Oh man, those are so cool. Those are so good. I kind of um, wanted to do that that black costume on this piece, but um, mm. it didn't really make sense with what you know the scene that we were trying to convey. Right. But Got some uh, new characters here. Yeah. There's this. I want to know, but you can't tell me, Ryan. Wait, go back to that last one. This one? Yeah, okay. I was seeing if the spoiler that I was was already in it. <laughs> you said this villain's name is Fleck Turn. Fleck Turn. All right. Very cool. And that's the villain featured in Ryan's piece that you can win if you're in the UK or Ireland. And if, if you are, then go to the chat and follow the, the, the link that I've dropped in there a couple times. Very good piece. Very cool. Uh, dope, dope, dope. Good stuff. Yeah, I love the costume so much because I Bakugo uh, or Bakugo went through a, a redesign in the show uh, that kind of like threw in a lot more black into his costume, mm -hmm. and I was like, "This is the best." And now it's like, now now it's like we sort of got like a bunch of those redesigns, like just like much darker, cool streamlined suits. I love them. Very cool. There's Hawks. There's Ochako. The squad. Good stuff, man. Oh, yeah. And then here's Ryan's piece again. Go try to win it. I did that. It. Ryan did that. You drew these? Mm -hmm. um, all right. I'm going to drop that link in here again for anybody in the UK or Ireland that wants to win. There's that, that uh, link for you once again. Very exciting. If you're as excited for the movie as we are, Here's the link again to go get your tickets to My Hero Academia World Heroes Mission. Good stuff. Ryan, do you want some more questions? Sure. All right. Good stuff. Um, Bradley Tan wants to know, or says, this is awesome. Not sure if someone has asked this, but what's your favorite manga slash anime of all time? Sending love and well wishes from Malaysia. Oh, awesome. That's great to hear. Uh, my, I said this in an interview um, that just came out, but... My favorite of all time is Evangelion. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, My Hero Academia is moving up the list rapidly at this point. Yeah, awesome. Uh, Big Boy Big Boy Eve, uh, says, Bakugo, Bakugo's quirk explosion is cool, to be honest. It's amazing how he uses the power from the explosions to fly so that he doesn't have to run everywhere. That is yeah. a good... Uh, mode of transportation it's sort of like iron man's like repulsor but much more like <laughs> aggressive and destructive and it's so cool seeing it in action in the anime yes absolutely um the previous movie heroes rising had some really amazing animation with bakugo's uh powers and especially mm -hmm. in the third act um Somebody said, where did that go? The correct answer is Vanish, Hallowfield says, as far as what Western comics should get an anime. We, we're all in agreement here. We all mm -hmm. want that. Um, Jesse Gromico, I hope I'm saying that right, says Spawn also had one in the 90s. I think that's in reference to like sort of like Invincible getting a very direct animated adaptation. Was that, I haven't seen the Spawn series. Was it pretty like one for one to the comic? uh sort of yeah it wasn't it wasn't necessarily i wouldn't call it um uh anime though it was yeah you know, yeah it was an animated version of it but right like i'm saying that for vanish we want an anime studio i want the style i want it all yeah definitely um 
Asheville Comics says, that looks awesome. Love seeing in progress art. Hi, Ryan and Ethan. Hi, Asheville Comics. That's actually, that's Doug. Hi, Doug. Hi, Doug. Doug. Nice. Nice for you to be here. Thanks for saying hi to me as well. Sometimes people just forget that I'm even here. Um, Hallifield says, Asheville represent. Um, the Art Jedi's got another question for you, Ryan. Whenever learning from a drawing book, did you copy the drawings the author provided or did you just try to apply the information provided in the book to your own art or both? Uh, I would, co I the copies that I, I would recommend doing are from your favorite, from artists that you like when you see mm. something that you want to figure out how they did it. The, the books, like the anatomy books and stuff, I think that you just use to... Um, you know, learn from you, you, you use them to understand anatomy, but you don't need to copy them per se. Right. Our Jedi says, Ethan's going to hate me by the end of the stream with all my long questions that he has to read. No, I mean, genuinely, I, I love, I love getting the art questions. It's uh, really, really fun for me. Like as somebody who is not a visual thinker and that's not my wheelhouse, I, it's one of my favorite things to just like learn more about. So no, Anything, any way you can probe Ryan for information, do it. I want all of it. Um, Joseph Noel says, do you think we'll see original art like this maybe printed on t-shirts for the KLC Press merch, Ryan? What's KLC Press, Ryan? <laughs> KLC Press is my my site where we're creating a new superhero comic universe, magic universe, whatever. Is that at um, klcpress.com? Yep, it sure is. Awesome. Uh, I mean, we won't see My Hero Academia art. I don't own this, but right. you know, you'll see lots of Vanish uh, gear as we go mm -hmm. forward. Vanish gear, KLC press gear. We got some stuff on there right now. Uh, let me pull up what that link is because we don't mention it very often. Um, KLCpress.threadless.com. Uh, if you go on there right now, there's already some Vanish gear as well as just general KLC press merch. Uh, Griffin got his hands on one of our KLC press logo shirts. Uh, and according to him, great quality, good stuff. And he looks great in it. So everybody get yourself some merch if you feel like it. Um, let's see. So big boy, Eve, here's another development. The movie takes place during season five. There's like a bit of a um, plot point in there. So I won't oh, throw that up on there. But apparently during season five. So that's cool. Um, it's Francis Cooley says, can you just release the drawing? It looks amazing. Yeah, I'll put. <laughs> yes, sure. <laughs> release it. Make it open source. Yeah. Uh, it's Francis Cooley says, what's your favorite My Hero Academia moment? You go first. Um, that's a tough one. I really, it, like the first thing that came to mind is Deku um, defending Koda from that the muscle guy. Um, that, that, that always really stuck in my head. I really love that moment. Uh, I guess that's a bit of a spoiler for a couple of seasons back, but um, kind of making Coda believe in heroes gets you a little teary. It's real, it's, you know. Well, I liked it early on when you know he and Bakugo were at each other's throats. Mm. I mean, very early on, <laughs> and Bakugo was you know in danger, and Deku still insisted on saving <laughs> saving mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. Like, and it was making Bakugo mad, but he was just like. <laughs> Deku can't let anything, you know, anything bad happen to anybody. That's why kind of set, the, set the stage for the whole for the whole concept of everything, you know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's why I love Bakugo. He's so aggressive, but he still wants to be the best hero. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, Corey is inking says chains for Ethan. Thank you, Corey. I'm not sure what spurred that on, but I appreciate it. Um, you know, if any of you want to jump in and throw in some chains for Ethan and it'll keep me going. Yeah. It gives it's it, Francis it's Cooley. spinach to Popeye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I. Um, it's Francis Cooley said muscular. That was the muscle guy's name. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. 
Um, we got some we got some my hero experts in here. Anytime I can't remember, uh, anytime I can't remember something, people jump in and remind me. I appreciate it. Um, let's oh oh, it's Francis Cooley's also an open source developer, so I, I assume they liked my open source joke. Um, Joseph Noel says was on Felix Art browsing, and I'm eventually going to pull the trigger on a Steg piece. What's your favorite piece of original art you have in your possession? Of my own or of somebody else's? Probably art? just in general. Um, I have uh, art Adam, some layouts that Arthur Adams did. Um, and that's just because I love process and all the trappings of drawing. It's like, for some reason, I just love the heck out of it. Right. I'm not going to pull this comment up because it's not entirely family friendly. Chip Zdarsky, this is a family friendly stream. Uh, and so we need to keep things civil. Uh, but the essential piece of the, the message is Chip asking why he's not on this stream. Oh, because uh, Chip by nature is not family friendly. <laughs> that's Just right. Like his existence. That's right. Chip, you show up and you you just you turn the whole thing into something less respectable. And so we're definitely not going to be able to include you in this one. Um, but thanks for your comment. Uh, Dustin uh, Heineman or Hineman says, Ryan and Ethan, are you guys fans of Gundam? Also, Ryan, have you drawn any Gundam suits before? I just started getting into anime over the past few years and Akira was what got me into it. I need to watch Gundam and Akira. I need to read Gundam and Akira also, I assume. So I've read the first volume of Gundam, uh, mm -hmm. and I haven't read past that, but I did enjoy it. And I do build Gundam models. My kids do too. That's awesome. Um, but I have not watched the series or um, read much of it yet. My friends are really into it, and I want to. I'm trying to get my kids to get excited about it, but then you know what will happen is they'll plow ahead and leave me in the dust again. So right. I think I'm um. just... Uh, too busy at the moment, but I will get it, you know, at some point I'll come around to it. Gotcha. Um, a very desperate Chip Zdarsky has sent another message saying, I'll be family friendly with a whole lot of exclamation points. Um, wow, Chip, he really wants you, in. We can't watch, we can't watch you. Um, <laughs> I, I kind of was just like, well, I'll just let him in. And, and then I was like, this could really go wrong. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll just see what happens. Yeah, that's that's not a good idea. <laughs> that's not a good idea. I'm sorry, Chip. As much as I would like for you to be here, um, you said you build Gundam models. Are you? Do you? Is that where that kind of starts and ends, or do you build a lot of models with your kids? Because I, I love the anime model building thing. Um, well, yeah, no, we we've stretched, we've branched out. So, like, you know, my they have like Dragon Ball ones. I built mm -hmm. a, I built an right. Ava, and they're not right. technically Gundams where you build them from the skeleton up, but they're still you know, they're fun to put together. Right. Um, so yeah, I've my seen, kids have I've a seen bunch my of hero models. academia ones that I really liked that I've thought about getting before. I just don't have any, I don't have anywhere to put models, but I would love to, I would love to build them. Um, have you ever done like the kind where you, you have to paint them? No, I've never done a painted one. I've right. got a bunch of the vinyl toys over here with the, yeah. including some, my hero academia ones. Right. Um, but my kids took the heads off of some of them, so that's infuriating. <laughs> I want to be more of like a collector. Uh, I just need more space in my house and more disposable income. And then once those two things are out of my way, ooh, I'm going to have so much stuff. Chip Zdarsky says, wow. Yeah, he's he's right. Wow is right. I think I think he's saying, wow. You guys are running a really tight ship here, and I respect why you won't let me on. Yeah, he Chip, by the way, has a podcast called Manga Splaining. He does have a podcast where he reads manga, manga because he had never read it before, and he's getting into it now. And he's and he's, uh, you know, talks about manga. So get didn't on they that. do a My Hero Academia episode? Oh, I don't I listen to it. <laughs> It's a good podcast. It's a good podcast, despite Chip's presence. I don't think they have done a My Hero Academia episode, but they definitely should. I've been um, trying to get on that show, and he won't let me. So you know, this is, <laughs> this is payback. Right now. Uh, uh, he clarified, "I am not saying that that thing that I was thinking that he was implying with the wow." 
Um, okay. Well, Chip, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to read any more of your chat messages. We're going to have to focus on some other people. Uh, but thanks for dropping by. <laughs> Chip, uh, I'm surprised Chip's out of bed. I feel like he would be a guy that just like sleeps until you know 8 p.m. Well, whenever you start a live stream, Chip wakes up in a cold sweat, and he <laughs> knows he needs he knows he needs to get on his computer. <laughs> um, it, you definitely should check out Manga Explaining if you haven't. Though they they recently did an episode about Spy Family, which is a, a favorite manga of mine, and uh, that just the other day had an anime adaptation announced. Um, uh, so I'm very excited for that. Um, Maybe we should do like a we should do an anime podcast. Uh, I know that both myself and Griffin would be very excited to do that. Um, well. The, all, all we need is just a bunch more time. Do you have more time in your week? <laughs> oh, man, I have nothing but time. <laughs> I haven't been working till, you know, 10 p.m. every night this week <laughs> at all. Brutal. Lottie says, your Deku is awesome. My Hero Academia is the reason I want to start drawing. Any tips for people who are just starting out? Uh, yeah. First of all, if you're just starting out, just have fun with it. Do not worry too much about you know, I see this even with children that my own children, where they think that they need to be like as good as me when they start out. Uh, the real key is to have fun. And then you get better just by having fun. Now you can also get there's lots of like how to draw manga books or there's YouTube videos like what we're doing right now where you can learn how to draw. Um, but, uh, you know, you, you can you guys have access to a lot of drawing information, but the first and foremost, the most important thing is to make sure that you're having fun and not making it too stressful on yourself. Just if you want to create, then create and, uh, and then go from there. Absolutely. Um, one final check in with Chip Zdarsky. Mm -hmm. He says, bye guys, have a really nice day and enjoy doing your drawing, which, Sounds nice. And it's not. Art Jedi, Art Jedi says, since when has Chip been this nice? I'd like to point out, I think that's disingenuous. I think he's being rude. Yeah. Um, and he's, just, he's, he's occupying a lot of our headspace just by being nice. And he knows it's a it. Lot, it's a lot of headspace that we could be using for anything else. Mm -hmm. um, Art Jedi wants to know, have you ever tried sculpting? I've heard it helps with drawing in terms of learning anatomy and visualizing the human body in a 3D space. Or do you think form drawings basically do the same trick? Uh, yeah, you know, I have sculpted. Uh, I've done it with clay and with, uh, you know, the... I can't remember what the name of the program is. But you, there's a really cool um, free, like, ZBrush-type program um, that you can use on your computer that you can sculpt with and i've done that a lot like it's really addictive i mean it's just like drawing like it's it scratches the same itch so if i start something i just get really into it and have a blast with it yeah right um so yeah i mean i would recommend it i you know any anything that you can do to expand um your skill set is going to help and inform your drawing so like being a good painter helps mm -hmm. um being good at you know, uh, any sort of art is going to help. Even, even photography would help with composition and everything, you know? Yeah, totally. Um, art Jedi says justice for chip. Um, what I would say back to that is you don't have to be on Chip's side cause he's already on his own side. Uh, yeah. You don't want to be on Chip's side. That's always a bad thing. That's the losing side. Um, Asheville Comics says it's always about you, Chip. That's more like it. Um, Subham says, hey, I'm going to draw Deku too now while listening to the stream. Do it. And well, that's the idea. It. That's what we want. Yeah. these All, all these streams, you know, uh, for a lot of our streams, we, we let folks in and they draw along with Ryan and we get to see what they're working on. But since this is not one of those, send it to us on Twitter. Ryan, what are you at on Twitter? Ryan Stegman. I'm at Tales to Astonish. We want to see anything you guys do while working on this, uh, while uh, checking out the stream. So definitely send that stuff over, and we would love to see it. Uh, I, um, Abig oh, go, go ahead. ahead. No, you go ahead. I insist, Ryan. 
one of the things that we're going to do on KLC Press, and I'm figuring it out right now, is uh, is I'm going to be drawing pages from Vanish Live um, for subscribers. Mm -hmm. And uh, we I did it a couple times already, but we started to get into spoiler territory that I didn't right. want to ruin it for people uh, publicly. But people that want to have it ruined for them and that are paying money, <laughs> they can come in and do that with me and, you know, it's, it'll be like my hangouts with my friends that draw, you know, like if you're, if you're a person that wants to draw comics, um, you can get a camera and point it at your drawing too and come and draw with me. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, that'll be really fun. We would love it. Um, we're going to answer some more questions. We're going to, we're going to keep going, but we are nearing uh, completion here. So I'm going to, I'm going to drop some links in again. Uh, if you are in the UK or Ireland, definitely enter the competition to win Ryan's My Hero Academia art. Uh, you can do that at the link that I just dropped into the chat once again. And if you don't yet have tickets to the movie My Hero Academia World Heroes Mission, go buy your tickets at this link that I just dropped into the chat. Um, you should do both of those things. And you should also go check out Funimation because they got all the My Hero Academia you could ever possibly ask for and then follow their social channels as well because they um, have all the updates for you for when more is coming yeah i can't stress enough guys like the movie really genuinely is great it's it's really yeah. really fun and exciting and uh anybody that has kids um watch this show with your kids uh and anybody that is a kid watch this show period yeah because um you know, and if you're an adult, I mean, Ethan's over here meeting his wife through anime, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Or his absolutely. fiance. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, but it's, it's something that I that I can't stress enough. Like, it's a really great experience. And it's got all ages appeal. I think everybody can enjoy it. We, of course, we actually like it. We wouldn't. Can you imagine us doing a promotional thing for something we didn't actually like? You oh yeah, that? I'd have to force myself to like it, and then you'd be able to tell. I was so yeah. excited to draw this. Yeah, this is absolutely. Like an honor, honestly. To imagine us trying to do a promotional tie-in to the the January film release Morbius. Oh my gosh! Um, hey, by the way, my wife sent me a text the other day, and she goes, "Why didn't you tell me about this movie?" <laughs> and I was like, "What?" And she's like, "I love Jared Leto." Oh no! <laughs> and oh, I was just no. like, "What?" Aaron, that's a big, red, that's a big red flag, Ryan. Yeah. yeah. Did you see that new trailer? Oh, boy. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, she said it looked cool. Okay. Okay. All right. She said um, she said she wants to come on the show and talk Leto with you guys. Does she really? Yeah, kind of. Oh, my God. So. I would love nothing more. That would be fantastic. Because it wouldn't just be me trying to convince her why she shouldn't like Jared Leto. I would just love the perspective of a Leto fan. Um, hey, here's a question, I, Ethan. I'm going to ask you yes, a question. Please do. If My Hero Academia were a live action movie, uh oh, yeah, who would you want to direct it? Oh, direct. I thought you were going to ask me cast questions. No, that's I'm too direct. hard because when you when you get into like people this age, there's just not enough of a pool of, you know, I mean, what we we, we would say, Deku could be Tom Holland is like as far as yeah. I could. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh boy, that's a tough question. Do you have an answer, or are you just are you just? I mean, just on the forefront of my mind is Villeneuve from Dune, but oh my gosh, really? Okay, that's an interesting choice. Um, I or mean, Taika I like Waititi. Taika Waititi could be fun. Um, Villeneuve is a funny choice. I I, I love Dune. Just, I love well, I just feel like he'll do anything. Anything he does will be great. But obviously yeah, it's I mean, not it, would, it, it would it would it would look awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. The first thing I thought was was Edgar Wright, maybe. Oh, well, that'd be cool. That's a that good could call. Be, that could be fun. I mean, because I feel like, I feel like one of the tougher parts of that adaptation might be getting the humor to translate into live mm -hmm. action, and I think Edgar Wright might have a really good flavor for that. No, that's a great call. Yeah, um, David Lynch. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> Abigail Mendoza has a question. Which anime's art style would you most like the Vanish show to be like? Uh, the what's the name of the studio that does My Hero Academia? I think they're doing a Mark Miller one right now. 
Super Are Kirks they? or something. I think so. Oh, Super Kirks. Yeah, somebody mentioned that in the chat. Yeah. Uh, um, so I guess, yeah, it would totally be this or is it Gynax that did um that did uh Evangelion? Um, these are all questions that I don't know the answer to. I don't I, know I, the I just answer. I just found out that Bones uh, does My Hero Academia Studio Bones. Okay, so um, yeah, we'll go with Bones. <laughs> uh, I mean, that is they, honestly what it Super like. Crooks? I, I thought so. I thought that's what somebody said. Super Crooks is... Yeah, Super Crooks will be told in 13 30-minute episodes produced by renowned Japanese anime studio Bones. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that's so cool. That's I didn't wild. know that when I put that out. Uh, you know, I was I was putting out the Vanish thing into the ether, like, you know, one of those things that you just try to manifest. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't believe it when somebody said, not only is uh, it happening for another series, but that it's happening via Bones, the mm -hmm. studio that does the show that you watch. And I was just like, what? So... Miller already manifested it, but I want to take it to the next level. Right. I um I may have something that I'm working on with Griffin. Uh that I that when picturing an art style when working on it, I'm picturing the art style of Soul Eater. Um for anybody that's a fan of Soul Eater, uh that's like what's been in my head for this thing that I'm working on. Um it's definitely fun to to pick um a series like that and kind of try to apply the look of it in your head as you or as you create something um um it's francis cooley says i would love to be talking with you sometimes i try to have my hero academia talks on my twitch that's cool that's yeah cool. that is cool yeah i would love to do a um like like we said maybe do some some anime shows maybe as like a little mini show for Stegman and his amazing friends or whatever and I because I know we do have a lot of anime fans in the audience and I'd love to hear what all their favorites are and um because like I said I'm still pretty new to all of it um and so I'm I'm trying to check out all the best have you seen Jujutsu Kaisen Ryan no oh man I oh, think my man. niece was talking about that saying that that's or maybe that maybe it's Oliver that loves that but I think is it a manga also it is, yes. That might be the one that he was saying he's really into right now. He reads. It, is it in it, Shonen Jump? Yeah. Yeah. Then he's dude. Reading it. The the manga and the anime are unreal. They are so good. <laughs> um, definitely check those out when you get a chance. Big Boy Eef says, "Do you guys like horror anime?" Yes. He says yes. Everybody. He says yes. Um, like which ones is he speaking of? I I remember, I watched. <laughs> that really messed up one. I guess I shouldn't say it on here. <laughs> there was one a uh, while back that was like very Hitchcocky. That was super interesting and very mm. psychological. And I haven't cool. seen a lot of horror anime, but I'd definitely be into it. Griff and I are big fans of Junji Ito. Uh, we're oh very yeah, excited. we're very excited for the Uzumaki. Yeah, why didn't I think about that when he said like he's the king of it? Oh, I, mean, yeah. I love all of his stuff. It's crazy that there's not already a lot of adaptations of his work. Mm -hmm. um so i'm very looking forward to very much looking forward to what's coming um let's see Corey is inking wants to know a question that i'm having to scroll back up to will you actually be looking into the manga style vanish in addition to the traditional comic ryan of of the black and white with tones that is absolutely something i'm looking into oh man i would love that that would be so cool yeah, that's something. It's kind of, um, I I love reading comics and with that are like that, and uh, I absolutely want to uh, do that for sure. That would be awesome. You can also flip the panels to where you have to read it right to left. Well, I don't know <laughs> that I'll do that, but who knows? <laughs> um, Dustin Heinemann or Hineman, I'm sorry says, Ryan, I imagine you've answered this before, but what pen are you using for inking and why? This is a called a zebra pen. It's a mm -hmm. Japanese pen that you can get on jet pens. Um, and I use it because it kind of, so it's got a felt tip, but it's sort of like a nib, which is, you know, um, a thing that you have to dip in ink, mm -hmm. but you don't have to dip it. So you can get super thin lines like I'm doing right now. Or you can get thick lines by pressing, so like mm -hmm. that. Um, and 
it's just sort of convenient for streams and stuff like that because I don't have to keep stopping and dipping the pen. Um, and I like inking with it, so it's a nice, nice pen. Art Jedi says in all caps, I want Vanish ruined for me. Well, good. Glad to hear it. You can hey, all have Vanish ruined for you yeah, by no checking problem. it out super early and watching it as it gets made over at klcpress.com. Um, and you should. It's a great time. We're partying over there. We're all loving it. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh Francisco Diaz Oliveira says, do you usually watch fan art? Like watch? What does that mean? I'm not sure. Um, he, uh, follow up message from Francisco. I'm no good at drawing, still drawing people with sticks, but I try to make things I am good at. I made a trailer for the My Hero Academia World Heroes Mission movie. That's cool. Share share that trailer in the, in the chat. Um, yeah, whatever your... Uh... Whatever your creative outlet is, you know, that's just enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, Lottie says, saw the movie twice already, but I'm not opposed to seeing it again. Heck yeah. Well, jump on that link I sent. Buy some more tickets. Buy, <laughs> buy them for your friends and family. Um, Jay says, Miss Stegman seems cool. Yeah, she's she's pretty rad. She's pretty rad. I met her once. She was rad. Um, oh, and then follow-up message from Jay. Cooler than Ryan. Oh, oh yeah. No, definitely. I went to um, school. I, I grew, went to the same middle school as her in, in <laughs> high school, and I was definitely not as cool as her. That's, That's wild. Not, yeah. Did you know each other well in middle school or high school? Um. We got to know each other in high school. I had a crush on her in middle school, but she does not remember me existing in middle school, according to I her. I don't think I knew this. She's like your high school sweetheart. Well, I never dated her in high school. Yeah, but did you like her? Oh, yeah. Aw, that's adorable. Yeah, everybody did. She She's a babe. <laughs> Brandon Allred says, Ryan can't make a bad drawing. Thank you, Brandon. That's a lot of pressure. I keep you trying. Ever, if you ever do make a bad drawing, people are going to be like, oh. His record's broken. Mm -hmm. um, Langston Brown wants to know, when Ryan shades all the sketches he does on here, is he shading for separation of colors or light and dark? Light and dark. I don't, um, I don't quite know what he means, but all I'm thinking of is, I mean, I know that his outfit is a certain color, and so like the, the, these arm sleeves are white, and then this is a green, so this will have more shades on it than the white would. But really, um, yeah, I just like to really give it a 3D form with the shading. All right, absolutely. Francisco um, says, I think it'd be hard for American actors to make anime slash manga related movies. I yeah, for sure. I mean, for sure. That's why we don't have a lot of them yet. Um, I'm in, I am soon going to watch um, my fiance and I just finished Death Note for the first time Ooh, and uh, it's a good fun. one Yeah, it's a good one and uh, we're going to watch that live action movie that came out I know people have all their thoughts on it and everything but I'm just I'm very interested to see it and I know that there's Netflix has a live action One Piece thing coming as well is that um, right? yeah apparently um, that's my kids they're obsessed with One Piece yeah um, and that's like a that's a wild one to take a big swing at. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a, an interesting challenge to try to make that adaptation happen. But um, I'm, I'm always going to be interested to see it for sure. Um, Eddie Brock 147 says Soul Eater is sick. Soul Eater is cool. Um, let's see. Uh, we are, you know, as always, we're a little like behind in the chat. So we have a little delay in response to things. But Lottie says, I was just about to ask you if you've seen Jujutsu Kaisen. So good. And then Francisco said in all caps, you need to watch Jiu-Jitsu. It's right. great. I'll do that. That's probably on Funimation, huh? Pro probably. If see. not, then erase this part of the... <laughs> I'll cut it out. I'll cut it out. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu guys in Funimation. Uh, it's coming to Funimation. All right, cool. Yeah. I'll wait till it comes out on there. Okay, great. You should, because that's... Uh, the premier anime streaming platform. Oh, wait. Officially arrive on animation, Funimation on October 4th. So I think it is on there right now. 
You know, I was a subscriber to Funimation before I started working with them on this. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. It is. I have confirmed it is definitely on Funimation. Um, and it is amazing. Uh, Kenny Porter, our friend, a friend of KLC Press, Kenny Porter, got, got me into it. Um, and I'm eternally grateful. He's a good guy. Um, Francisco wants to know, Ryan, do you like horror games? Horror games? Like video games? Yeah, I think so. I don't know that I've played one. I I play video games, but pretty sparsely. Like I, I would love to play them more. Um, but I haven't played like Resident Evil or anything like that. I have a big love for horror games. Um, I love Resident Evil. I love I love like indie horror games. Um, and uh, I think it'd be kind of fun to do little Supple Boys streams where we do horror games because Griffin and I both love horror stuff. Um, but that's that's a conversation for another time, Ryan. Um, Joseph Noel says, if anyone knows Zoid's Chaotic Century, that's my favorite anime ever. So underrated and definitely not one many know about. Shout out Toonami Days. Awesome. That is cool. Um, what do you guys think of The Promise Neverland, AJ asks. I haven't seen or read it. Have you, Ryan? Nope. I know people love it, um, and it sounds really cool. I'm, I'm going to get there. I'm, I'm catching up on all the anime and manga in the world, everybody. So it's going to take me a bit, but I'll get there. I'm going alphabetically. <laughs> um, Atomic Art says, what's up, my people? Hello. Hello. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, Devin wants to know, do you do any drawing digitally or do you prefer pencil and ink? I do. I can do both. Um, I do my layouts digitally and then I print them out and I pencil them. Um, but I have done full digital work and I, I do love it. Um, there's, there's no, uh, there, the, only, the reason I stay traditional is cause I like to sell the original art and I like to have the original art. But, uh, you know, I, I really enjoy digital work, too. Yeah, for sure. Um, we got a really sweet message here from Move the Car Sal. says, just wanted to say how much I appreciate how open and engaged you are with the community. You are so talented, but you and the Supple Boys are really funny. That's really Thank nice you. of you. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Um, also, I mean, I don't think the Supple Boys are funny, but... Yeah, that's a bit of a hot take. Uh, <laughs> it's an unpopular opinion. <laughs> but uh, I appreciate you being bold and throwing it out there. Uh, move the car, Sal. Francisco also says, we need to play horror video games together. I think it'd be amazing. Everybody sound off if you're interested in that idea because we it's much easier for us all to stream now. So I think it could be fun. If Wait, we can we play video games what horror video game could we play like as a community? So I know there is one again, jump into the chat. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it's like, it's like, I, I feel like it's called like, it's like has the name of a phobia as the title or something. And I think it's like an online multiplayer sort of thing where you're all walking through a spooky place together. Um, if, if that's still even, a, I know the move, the community, the gaming community moves through these like, um, co-op game is really fast so if that's still a thing somebody tell me what it is because i'd like to play that with everybody that'd be fun it's sort of like that um the um like the among us crowd sort of moved into that game for a while where like it was the thing to jump on and do with all your friends right um so that could be fun griffin's a little bitty scaredy cat so we'll have to see if uh, if he can handle it um thoughts on attack on titan ryan have you seen it lottie wants love to attack on titan it's a little stressful, uh, <laughs> but I read stressful. a bunch of it and I watched a lot of it. It's mm -hmm. it's one that I can't show to my kids, uh, you know. So, but I do uh, do enjoy it. I think it's a great concept. Get out of here, Lottie! It's a family family friendly stream. What did Lottie say? I'm just bringing up Attack on Titan. Yeah. Um, Ryan Michael says, Helsing is an amazing anime slash manga. I could see that style messing with meshing with Vanish. There you go. Perfect. Get, get him on the phone. Get him on the phone. I'm going to pull that up and see. 
what Vanish would look like in the Hellsings. Oh, that's Wait. pretty cool. All right, Ethan, we're about done here. Why don't you plug the movie in? All right, guys. Let's Do wrap it job. up, everybody. Oh, 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 real fast. Big Boy Eve said Phasmophobia. That's the name of that game. Um, okay. Also, Francisco says we could play the Friday the 13th game. It's multiplayer and made for everybody. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen that, but you can... Somebody gets chosen to play as like Jason, and then everybody else is everybody running from Jason. That could be fun. How many people um, can play at a time? A, a bunch. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Let's do that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, all right, guys, we'll, we'll work on that. We got a lot. We got plans for a lot of fun stuff. And you know what else we got is links. Um, if you're in the UK or Ireland, jump on this link. Uh, go try to win Ryan's My Hero Academia piece. Do uh, you guys want to know? Do you want to know how many people are entered right now? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, while that's loading, I'm going to drop in this other link. Uh, actually, no, no, here we go. You can enter the one, uh, to join world heroes mission giveaway. Currently we have 700 people entered, entered to win over 700 people entered to win Ryan's piece. Um, so I just dropped that link in there. If you're in the UK or Ireland, drop yourself in for a chance to win. Uh, and whether you're in UK or Ireland or not, definitely go to this other link. Grab your tickets to My Hero Academia World Heroes Mission. Uh, we're very excited for it. Um, check out uh, Funimation. Subscribe to Funimation for all the My Hero Academia you could ever possibly ask for. And follow their socials um, to make sure that you keep up with all the updates on the show and whatever other anime goodness that you want. Isn't that right, Ryan? That is exactly right, Ethan. <laughs> so, um We'll, we'll try to stream some horror games. We'll try to stream some... Uh, we still want to do D&D &D as well. We want to create a little D&D &D party. Uh, there's so much stuff that we want to do. And we're just going to keep streaming forever. So make sure that you also check out klcpress.com uh, to follow all the streams, to see all the stuff that we do live, um, as well as uh, check out all the, the creator-owned comics we're working on there, including Vanish with art by our own Mr. Ryan Stegman. Uh and uh, Hallowfield jumped on to say, subbing to Funimation today. Going to get my binge on. That's Excellent. right, Hallowfield. Good work. Uh, I hope everybody... Oh, Lottie also said, um, I entered for, for the uh, the competition. Oh, that's great, Lottie. Giveaway. Yeah, that's awesome. Good Thanks luck. For, yeah, good luck. Thanks for jumping on, guys. We appreciate everybody joining. Um, and we appreciate uh, Funimation for doing the cool collab. Uh, Ryan, any final thoughts before we jump off? Um, I just really enjoyed uh doing this i love uh my hero academia and i want everybody to see it and you know come to klc press and talk to me about it yeah absolutely well thanks so much everybody and uh we will see you next time Bye bye